Hello everyone, I'm Li Cong from the Eco Foundation Global. Last year, I just graduated from Beijing Forestry University with a master's degree in wildlife conservation. Then I got my first job at EFG. EFG is one of China's leading nonprofit organizations in biodiversity conservation, ecological restoration, and sustainable development. I was studying on Yunnan snub nosed monkeys when I was a student. After joining EFG, I have switched my focus to protect Hainan Gibbon. Especially, my conservation efforts has changed from laboratory work to encouraging social participation and international cooperation. Hainan Gibbon is endemic to the Hainan Island and is currently found in a single reserve only, the Ba Wangling Nature Reserve, which is now part of the Hainan Tropical Rainforest National Park. It's Hainan's most important flagship species, comparable to the giant panda for the whole China. During the past one and a half years, as the project coordinator of EFG, I prepared the Hainan Gibbon Conservation International Symposium in 2020. In order to release Hainan Gibbon from endangered status and uh, restore to a minimal viable population, this symposium gathered global experts to propose the get to get in the next 15 to 20 years, doubling the Hainan Gibbon population. Besides, on the last International Gibbon Day, for the first time, the conservation agencies of all 20 Gibbons presented their conservation work on one platform. With Hainan Institute of National Park and IUCN a section on small apps, we launched a global Gibbon network initiative to further safeguard and conserve the gibbons and their habitats. Following that, this year, we've invited 14 experts around the world to develop a case study report for Hainan Gibbon, sharing the effective recovery and conservation experience of the only one of 20 gibbons that is increasing in population. In, to inspire the global conservation of gibbons, primates, and even critical endangered mammals. On September 5th, this report was presented on the IOC and WCC in Marseille, providing a conservation model for globally endangered species and attract more attention to saving the swing and the singing. All these works are fascinating me because this experience have brought me to a world beyond that and learn about the effort made in other areas for the endangered species conservation in addition to the scientists. I believe that only through the concerted efforts of all sections of society can gibbons, primates, and even all endangered species revive. And I hope through the International Gibbon Day, more and more young people would know gibbons are closest to humans than like them and protect them. Happy International Gibbon Day 2021. Thank you all.